Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to create a Pareto chart using the Data Analysis Tool Pack. So the Data Analysis Tool Pack is a set of data analysis features or functions you can use. And one of them is to create a histogram, but part of that histogram you can create a Pareto out of it. So you can see here under the Data tab in the ribbon, I have Data Analysis. And if you don't have this, you would actually have to add that in there. So what you can do is you can go, in, you can go into File and go under Options and go into add in and when you said when you see Excel add in you click go and I, you see I have it checked here but if I didn't have it if I hadn't checked it and clicked OK it would disappear so that, uh, there's also another way to get into that uh, that particular window so you can just right click on there and customize ribbon and let me go into the add in here and I go back into add in here just click go and I want to click that check that off and it's going to show up once I click OK. So once you have that added in there, what you need to do is you need to go and click in the data analysis and click on the histogram. After I click OK, there are some arguments that you need to put in here. So if you wanted to create a histogram, in this particular example there are some caveats. Uh, we're looking at one, one column of data where we want to put into a histogram or a Pareto and we also have to create a bin so in this example we're using ages maybe this is an anal analysis of people's ages we have a, a group of I think in this example uh, we have a group of 50 people and their ages and we want to see what proportion are in a certain age group in order to do that we have to create bins and this concept just mainly states what are our buckets of groups so this is kind of a ascending group of tens this would assume a 0 to 20 years this assumes 21 to 30 years 31 to 40 etc as it follows up to 100 so 91 to 100 would be here so you'd have to set up two columns one of course is your data and then one is your bins or your buckets also one caveat about creating a, a Pareto this way is it's going to automatically take the access labels from the bins however it's sorted from the most to the least and if you had some particular uh, access categories for the X access categories that you want to put more different labels on, let's say there'll be more descriptive labels maybe like you're doing the budget uh, personal budget and you're talking about rent uh, cable cost telephone cost there actually is an, another way to create a Pareto but it's going to be using formulas I have another video on creating a Pareto with formulas and charting that out and I'll put a link to it on this video but let's go and see how we would create it this way so what our input range we're looking at our ages so I'm gonna go ahead and select here use the keyboard shortcut to control shift and the down arrow it will select all those range of cells let me go to my bin which and let me go back up here which is basically this area I don't have to use control shift and down arrow since this is a short list I'm just gonna go ahead and left mouse click to select that now our output, I'm going to put it onto a new worksheet. And these three items I'm going to select. I'm going to select the Pareto. I want to have a cumulative percentages. This cumulative percent will also create another table that will have a column that adds up or accumulates the percentage. And if I want to have a chart, I can select this. I'm going to have this on an another worksheet. I'll just call this worksheet Pareto. And I'll click OK. And go ahead and increase the size here. And you'll see that we have our our histogram or our histogram that is a Pareto. You'll see here that it's brought over our bins and based on the bins it's also counted how many times uh, a number shows up. For So here there are ages that are between 0 and 20 and there's two of them that show up between 0 and 20, five of them that show up between 21 and 30. And what it's done here is now it's in this part of the table it's sorted it. So the most uh, the most ages show up between 61 and 70, and that's the 11. And based on that, it also accumulates it. So it, it adds it. This is 22. This is 11 out of, let's see the total here, 11 out of 50. So that's going to give 22%. As it accumulates this, add, adds this up here, 17 out of 50 gives, goes to 36%. And it adds that all up, and that's what creates this particular line. So it accumulates that. And so 
A Pareto is also considered, or people also call it an 80-20 chart, or it follows the Pareto principle or the 80-20 rule. Um, and so if you look at where the 80% kind of lines up, you'll see that most of the line here, 80% of the ages fall within these buckets, uh, 61 to 70, uh, 51 to 60, uh, 71 to 80, 81 to 90, and that's about, uh, let's see if we add one more here, it would be 21 to 30. So that's a way to create a Pareto chart using the data analysis tool pack. And you don't have to put any formulas together, it kind of creates one for you. There are some limitations to creating it this way. And again, I'll put a link to the video of uh, some other instruction of how to create a Pareto if you wanted to use some specific formulas and you want to have labels here that are descriptive instead of numeric. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.